Here's a good question by Raven6. Will the U.S. sanctions on China chip manufacturing cause China to look more at Taiwan? It's a great question. Uh, you know, it's funny for me because I've, I remember the last, uh, you know, several weeks reading articles written by uh, talking heads who don't work in the chip industry, don't know the logistics, procurement, things of that sort, um, don't really quite know the markets. And then they're commenting on it saying, China's done. The United States is completely choking China when it comes to chip manufacturing, which is insane. Folks, you have to understand the reason why Huawei, if the U.S. is winning the chip war, right? And I love this as well. Remember Huawei. And I said to, to people all the time, if you want a phenomenal phone, years ago I said, get a Huawei. It's better than an Apple device. And Huawei was set to supplant Samsung as the largest chip manufacturer. And I am an operating system agnostic. So I have everything from the, the Spy phone, okay, to the um, the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I love this device. I could... I. You have to pry this off my cold dead hands. But so Huawei was set to overcome as the largest telecommunications company on planet Earth, number one. And number two, they were rolling out 5G. And what did the U.S. cry about? They're, they, they, they're, they reversed engineer our 5G technology. And CJ and I fell off our chairs laughing because we had no 5G technology. Huawei was being persecuted by the U.S. government because they had a 5G network that was unhackable by Five Eyes. Okay? NSA prison software and backdoors did not exist on their devices. In fact, when um, the company was called, uh, I think it was called Cellurex or uh, Cell something, it was, it's an Israeli company. And it's the, it's the company that the U.S. federal government would call in order to crack open a phone and under that uh, under that israeli company iphones were very easily cracked these things easily cracked right samsung's difficult to crack you can crack them and you'll get some of the metadata the phone that was impossible to crack was huawei so is it any wonder mm -hmm. right oh my god and then oh they they they're, you know, they're, they're, they're stealing our 5G technology. And Huawei's like, we're not stealing anybody's technology. In fact, you know, we'll go ahead and, we, and we'll make the source code open source so you can see it. And even then, Huawei got slammed and whatnot. And they're still surviving. They're doing well in, you know, in the Asian and European marketplaces and, and anywhere outside of America. They're doing fine. Uh, they've been supplanted by Xiaomi uh, and BBK, which owns uh, Oppo and OnePlus. They're like another major player internationally. And now you fast forward to where we are with this chip manufacturer. First of all, every single one of these chips, whether it's in your phone, your car, whatever, runs off of something called the ARM architecture. And ARM is a British company, right? And the ARM architecture is an open source architecture, right? So all your Qualcomm chips, your Snapdragon uh, 8 Gen 1Gs, and, and every single one of the your MediaTek processors, Qualcomm, uh, Kirin, um, or, you know, Apple's uh, Apple's A15 and A16 uh, chips, they are all built on the same architecture, and they but they all have individual customizations and tweaking to make it different. Now, the biggest ARM manufacturing chip uh, company in the world is uh, is uh, TSMC, which is based in Taiwan. Okay, and uh, then second to that is Samsung. Samsung has uh, the Exynos uh, processors. And whatnot. So uh, then, of course, uh, Qualcomm has Snapdragon. Okay, these are the, the three major Snap, uh, I'm sorry, ARM manufacturers that are out there. But TSMC is the biggest one. Okay, and TSMC, uh, you know, they've got it down to, I think, five and four nanometer technology. China's already about to leap that. They're about to introduce a three nanometer chip. Okay, so they're already working behind it. So any of this US sanctions, is it going to affect ARM? Is it going to affect China? No. Why? ARM is open source, right? Secondly, what makes a chip fast? Like, it's amazing. Like, you know, the difference between an Android device and an Apple device. An Apple device on a single core thread processing is extremely fast, faster than your typical Android device, much faster. The reason for that is that Apple uses a great deal of what? Silicon on their chips, Okay. Who is the largest 
market controller of silicon in the world? China. Who is the largest market controller of gallium, infinium, hafnium, rhenium, molybdenum, uh, cobalt, vanadium? Who, who owns that market? China. So if the architecture is open source, okay, and the very things, the raw materials you need to make these are controlled by one major country, what are the odds that China is going to absolutely re leapfrog the West? 100%. Because this is exactly what's happening with, um, with, 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 with America crying about the fact that we can't even feel the hypersonic uh, weapon system. We don't, we're not even at first gen yet. Dark Eagle is being deployed to Europe. What the hell is Dark Eagle? It exists on paper only. Meanwhile, China's already on first gen hypersonics. Russians are two and a half gen, moving to gen three, right? And and then the and then the Americans cry, the Chinese stole their technology. Well, well, and I, I find it hilarious because if the Chinese stole your technology, how come you don't have any? How come you don't even have a functioning model? This is the problem, folks. So, so this whole thing about the uh, 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 you know China's chip industry is about to collapse. Garbage. Just fake news. I mean, for the love of God, they're, they're, they have thorium reactors they're working on. They're, they've made a sun. They made an artificial sun that burns at 12 million degrees Fahrenheit for 17 minutes. You, you worried about a chip? Come on. Oh.